All right, cows, what's going on? You've got something to say to me? Why are you staring at me? Eh, are you jealous of my excellent port management skills? Ha ha ha. Binya told me everything. Binya? You mean that pirate? What did he say to you? It was a she. Waveport trade agreement. Talk to cows and assess the situation. Cows the Lord of Wave Strandport recently has made an arrangement with the Corpus Guild of Vern on the distribution rights of pure white herbs and outlight procedures in Nahem's domain. <laughs> Dang. I call trouble. Recently, is he talking about the agreement I made with the Vernese Guild Corpus? He, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I made sure the agreement was absolutely in our favor. I poured over it before I agreed to it. As the lord of this place, I have every right to. Uh oh, Kepler. Eeks, gods, you startled me. My lord, you need to calm down first. What did you expect? You broke our agreement. You said yesterday that you would discuss this with us first. How can you be so irresponsible, Lord Moranto? You didn't even talk to the butler any about it. Or still, you missed the critical article that Carper slipped in before you signed. Oh, great. Listen to what, cow, my lord. Did you really read it through? Uh, I'm sorry if you, you people in Udia are upset about this. But the condition Corpus offered was so tempting. It said it'd double the down payment if I decided right away. How could I resist that? Ah, uh, show me the agreement. Guy, even you can't trust me. Oh, of course, I rely on you a lot. But this time it's different. There's no problem with the agreement. Stare at cows. I, I didn't consult Anna, but still. Stare at cows a little longer. Uh, then you read it yourself. You see that there's no problem at all. All right, read the distribution rights agreement signed by cows. What does it say? Platinum gatherable distribution rights agreement. Section two, pure white herbs in Alatai. Calls 4-1 application scope. Content of this section is applied to all the pure white herbs and atide gatherables produced in Nahan's domain and distributed through Wave Stramport. Calls 4 2 Customs. Except for the calls specified in the Adenum, the Lord of Lordress of Wave Stramport can increase the existing taxes on gatherables or select new tax rates whenever deemed necessary. The Lord or Lordess of Western Port, upon executing his or her right specified in Article 1, must share the information with all involved parties. Also, if the rate of change on the gatherable taxes exceeds the range specified in the addendum, he or she must explain it to the Honorable King of the Tier. 3. The involved parties of the agreement, as mentioned in Article 2, are as follows. Onus, President of the Raystram Traders Guild, Glacia. The Agent of Corporis, Shadow of the Sun, Trade Agreement, page 14. Read even the amendment addendum. All right. Oh, let's read this addendum. There's nothing unusual about Wait, what? Distribution rights agreement addendum. Make sure import re reservations. Keep my lord, honest me. Read your home. So you didn't read it, and you knew what you were doing, and that's what you're saying? The, the, that's them two going back and forth. All right. Reservation list. Category sailing. Intercontinental trading. Reservations. Details. Shipping of gatherings. Customs. Duties are wage for the users of Capra's own ships. 
Two, export pure white errors in altitude and in form, raw or processed through waste transport. Transition of the raw processed products of lathical gallows via the ocean liner is prohibited. Trade Agreement 92. Haha, <laughs> this is what I expected from cows. Option. Express frustrated in confusion. Option express surrender at cows shamelessness. Side express disappointed. Let's do frustrated because he is frustrating. S T R A T E D. You do not have that emote yet. Okay. Let's be disappointed. You drop your shoulders in disappointment. King's Knight, this is serious. The Lord has given Capra's exclusive distribution rights. This agreement is released. It'll be the end of other traders like us. We can't compete with someone who doesn't have to pay customs duties. Carpus will sway prices at the port too. Just the thought of it sends chills down my spine. At least you're here to solve this problem, King's Knight. That fool, I mean, Lord Morarato, is so lucky. Please meet Glacia and renegotiate with him. All right, Kells, what you got to say? Ah, ha, ha, so, so how did it go? Uh, shove the agreement addendum in Cal's face. Or read the problematic parts out loud. Let's read them out loud. Cal becomes pale. Uh, er, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, th this can't be happening. What should I do? The merchant already took off to the capital. I, I must stop him, but how? Uh, maybe I should report to his majesty first. Wait, you can help me, can't you? Please. I'm your close friend and rival. You're not going to turn your back on me, are you? Speak with Therian. Ah, his match, must know my now, my reputation. Let's go talk to the king. That almost going down. Let's look, watch. We're going to get a gold spam within 30 seconds of the Therian castle. When this page goes away, we'll have a gold spam. Bam. Called it. Called it. That's how bad gold spamming is in the city. Remember to activate your triport. It will help you get around Lutera. came at the right time. I want to talk to you about a recent agreement that Lord Moranto signed. Ah, you already know. That makes things easier. I don't know what to do. It became valid the moment he signed it. If this was an internal matter, I would have I would have annulled it with my world rights. But since it's international, there's not much I can do about it. Well, great. Just great. That trade agreement is going through. Our negotiations with the Holy Sacred Empire are not yet complete. We should pay more attention to the UDM. Well, we'll be back next episode to see what we can do.